Spark 2 Enterprise. Enterprise, Kyle here. Beam down successful. Lieutenant Pafuzalik and I will join the survey party near the main surface crevasse. We anticipate returning to the ship in 2.7 hours. Understood, Commander Spark. Transporter room is standing by. Very well. Spark out. Mr. Bafuzalik, please assist Lieutenants Barrows and Martine complete the deep core scans. Hopefully, the data collected will shed light on how this rogue planetoid has a hollow core despite being naturally formed. Uh, a very interesting phenomenon indeed, Mr. Spock. I hope there will be sufficient time to collect at least two full scans. Sir. You heard correctly, Chekhov. I'm thinking of cross-training to become an engineer. It turns out I have a tendency towards mechanical things. Oh, is that so? How did you come to realize that? Well, during our stopover on Draymar 2, I had a thorough personality test performed. I heard a little bit about those. How was it done? It was very in-depth. There was a series of multiple choice questions that I answered, and then the specialist assessed the answers and presented me with my personality profile. Hmm. It sounds like it was worthwhile. Did it point out any uh, areas of improvement? Well, not as such. But the results pegged my strengths and positive aspects really well. Oh, interesting. Excuse me, gentlemen. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir? The reasoning you are employing, Mr. Sulu, is not logical. In fact, you are exhibiting the Forer effect, a cognitive bias. You seem to be making sense. That may be so, Navigator, but bias is affecting his judgment. The Forer effect, also called the Barnum effect, is a cognitive psychological phenomenon whereby individuals give high accuracy ratings to descriptions of their personality that supposedly are tailored specifically to them, yet which are in fact vague and general enough to apply to a wide range of people. Because the assessment statements are so vague, people ascribe their own interpretation and the statement becomes personal to them. Thus, the Forer effect is an example of an egocentric bias. This phenomenon provides a partial explanation for the widespread acceptance of some paranormal beliefs and practices, such as astrology, fortune-telling, aura reading, and, in Mr. Sulu's case, many types of so-called personality tests. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Yes, I should rethink what I'm trying to say. That would be best. Even if it seems that one is thinking rationally, one must always strive to avoid giving in to cognitive biases such as the Forer effect. These biases are systematic patterns of deviation from rationality and judgment, causing judgments to be made in an illogical fashion. Care must be taken to mitigate these biases to ensure proper reasoning. It's only logical. 